I am not feeling good at all. It is by far one of the most physically difficult things I've ever done. Hello from Indio. Don't let this energy fool you. I'm exhausted. It's the day after Coachella and this is actually the hardest part of the road trip because we have an 18 hour and 8 minute drive from here to Austin, Texas and um, I hope we make it all right but uh, as with any great adventure we have to start by packing the car. into the drive, meaning we had about 17 hours left in it. Look at that sleep with me. 16 hours left and uh... McDonald's. She wants McDonald's. We haven't eaten fried food in 60 days. So this right here <laughs> is the most important thing. Cheers. Hmm. 15 hours left and we just crossed into Arizona. I can finally breathe now, but like my sinuses got a lot worse before they got better. Um, sidebar, since it's the first time we can eat fried food in the past 60 days, pretty sure we have our hearts set on a big plate of wings. Fourteen hours left, and to be honest, I'm just happy to see gas under like three dollars and eighty cents. I just filled up the entire tank for forty dollars. Y'all in California, I'm sorry, but I just I just don't get why y'all's gas is so expensive. Look at that sexy girl. Thirteen hours left, and Stephanie is finally awake. She's been playing this whole like pokey gem game. What's it called? Puzzles and Dragons. Puzzles and Dragons. And she just she just won something. I want something cool. I want a Zeus, but now it changed it to violent dragon bound number six. I got hacked, I think. <laughs> Geekin. Twelve hours left and Steph pointed out my fingers are dirty from camping. 11 hours to go and I am like mentally drained. Baby, do you mind taking over? I'll take that as a yes. <clears throat> so we're actually in Arizona right now and I don't know what it is about the prairie or the desert, whatever you would consider this, but it's beautiful, check it out. Now, random tidbit. Well, we were stopped over somewhere. Stephanie looked out the window and saw a mouse. She said, hey, check out that cute mouse. And I was like, babe, that's not a mouse. That's a prairie dog. And um, ever since then, I've been really trying to find, I've been like obsessed with finding a prairie dog outlook. I really hope we can find one, but right now, I need to get <laughs> sleep. But uh, 10 hours to go, and we just passed the Continental Divide, which had me wondering, what is the Continental Divide? So I Googled it. The Continental Divide of America, is also known as the Great Divide, is a mountainous divide of the Americas. It extends from the Bering Strait to the Strait of Magellan. It goes all the way from Canada to South America, guys. That's crazy. Um, that's just a little side note, but right now I'm feeling a little better. At first I was pretty tired, 
Now my eyes are looking a little good. I'm feeling a little good, but Stephanie still won't let me drive. Uh, feeling better, but now I'm kind of cold. Ooh, looking good. Uh, baby, you want to get something to eat? I don't know. I'm not really hungry, but if we're driving through the night, I don't know if we'll have another chance to eat. We should at least get some coffee. Babe. What? What do you want to get at Starbucks? Wings. Well, what if you can't get wings? I sturdy chai. All right, so you remember how we wanted wings? I Googled it. The wing stop doesn't close until 12 a.m. And I found one in 76 miles away. And I think we can make it. We haven't eaten wings in 65 days. Fingers crossed, guys. Nine hours left. And this is where things start getting a little interesting. You see, I'm starting to feel a little sick, and I don't think it's because of the drive itself. In fact, I think it's because how, like, dirty my hands got. And even though I washed my hands, like, 15 times it feels like, which actually is probably, like, five times today, I feel like when I was eating, I might have got something. Because my throat's killing me, my eyes are itchy, I started heating up, and it's really messing up my vibe. But, uh, anyways, we made it to Wingstop. <clears throat> Stephanie's actually inside right now. I think she ordered for us. Dinner is served. <laughs> are we lost? Are we not? Are we real? Are we turning to dust? Do you feel what I feel? It looks so good, but before I get into it, Stephanie's making me take this right now. Babe, can you can you get this like um can you get me like slow motion into the cup? Slow motion. Cheers. We end up getting the Louisiana dry rub, french fries, and mango habanero. Step away. Quick, 10 second review. Ah. Louisiana dry, rub, Louisiana dry rub is so good. Oh my gosh, it tastes so amazing. Mango habanero, a little bit on the orangey side for me, but after a little positive thinking by you, babe, it was good, really good. And then the fries with the brown sugar, amazing. All right, it's my turn. Quick review of Wingstop. Number one thing you need to know is chicken wings are my favorite food in the entire world. That's why it's been so hard for 65 days. But at this point, everything tastes good to me. This is not my favorite mango habanero in the world. It's all right. I like spicy, so I always have to get it, but it is a bit too citrusy. This is a banger. This Louisiana, Louisiana thing was amazing. I'm probably gonna start getting it like every time I come here for now. But um, <clears throat> I'm really not feeling good. Uh, Steph, how do you think we should handle the rest of this drive? I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. I'm thinking, thinking we tough it out a little bit, because we're about the halfway point, and uh, get like another hour or two in and see see how we're doing at that point. So I guess I'll see y'all when we only have eight hours left, and I am struggling. So. Stephanie's gonna take over for the wheel for a bit. I'm gonna hop in the back. I'm in the back. I'm gonna get a little bit of sleep. It's getting tough. Six hours to go and Stephanie is still asleep in the back. For those of y'all that don't know, half of the trip back to Austin is Texas. We passed a, we actually got into Texas a little while ago and these Long straight highways are intense. The speed limit is about 80 miles per hour. Luckily, I discovered the cruise control and I have it set to 70, 75. And I'm just relaxing, chilling, and I'm feeling pretty good. My sinuses are still messed up, but I'm not tired. My nausea is gone, and uh, I'm kind of just enjoying the ride right now. 
So I guess I'll see you when we have uh, five hours to go and uh, guess who just woke up. Four more hours to go, it's 6 a.m. right now. Um, which means the sun is about to rise any minute now. I've been waiting for this for the past several hours. It's been pitch black, and I really think this is going to be the highlight of this whole stretch of this road trip. Three hours to go, and uh, it felt like a really good time to get some gas to see. Feels like we haven't gotten any gas in the past three hours. And usually we like to stretch and move our legs a little bit every like two to three. Um, and y'all, the sunset, man, the sunset. <laughs> sunrise. Sunrise, sunrise. Baby. Yeah. Two hours to go. Are you excited? Y'all check this out. Ugh. Look at the sunrise. I can't get over it, man. So worth it. One hour. We did it. Thanks so much to that van. We were actually on the road for like 25 hours total and that had to be one of the most physically exhausting things I've ever done. And I don't think it was just like the drive itself. I think it's because of all the, the pollen and everything and my allergies and my sinuses being all messed up and the change of altitude not being able to equalize the entire ride really messed me up so what i'm gonna do right now is actually hop in the shower and like pass out for a week y'all remember stay positive and don't forget to do amazing things i'll see you guys like as soon as possible Bye.